welcome back to my home and welcome back to my channel. So right now I am standing in front of a pretty large mess as I'm getting ready to organize one of my closets that I store a lot of different things in and I hope that this gives you a lot of organizing inspiration. I have so much to do and so we're just gonna flip the camera around and get rolling. All right, so here is part of the mess and you can see me over there in the mirror. So this closet is inside of our office area and it has some shelving in it. it has a shelf on that side and it also has a shelf on this side i'm gonna leave this up here that was from whenever i had organized it before but this organization just needed to change um we are homeschooling now and so homeschool stuff needs to go in here i use my cricut all the time here i get ready at this mirror a lot so i did have my getting ready stuff in here before whenever i had filmed but i actually had moved this shelf out and thought I would change this into like my vacuum storage area and I just realized I needed this shelf back in here so I just moved it back in all right flipping around I tried to kind of go through things so this is like some homeschool stuff this is like my bags and getting ready stuff over here I think I'm going to start by trying to get the books into these bottom shelves There are all kinds of ways that you can organize books. I personally love going with the rainbow theme. You've seen me do it other times before, and I don't have a extensive library. I think if I had a bigger amount of books, I maybe would do by title, but since I just have this smaller amount, I like the way that it is aesthetically appealing to have them in a rainbow order. I also put all the books on the bottom that didn't have the title on the spine. I've made some headway with this and I may actually have to look for some more books around the house that go in here but I always love having extra room and I feel like it looks so nice and organized and these things finally have a designated spot they've been floating around the house forever and been driving me nuts <laughs> so I have a lot to go up in here we've got a lot more to go but before I keep going I think I'm gonna go ahead and move my command station so I had this up here to put like inspiring quotes and stuff on but I'm gonna move it I may end up using it in my daughter's room and then in this closet over here is where I had had my command station but I feel like it needs to be out in the open where I can actually see it in the office so I'm going to take this stuff off the wall and move it over these little pockets that I have for mail and chore charts have a large magnet on the back as well so they would work on something metal without adhesive. Every time I'm putting things up on the wall I get so many questions about what command strips I use or what I use to attach things to the wall so I do use command strips in fact I will leave the pack I usually grab in the description box below. I want to say a huge thank you to Trevor Geyser Films for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited about this sponsorship because this is my brother's film company. Trevor Geyser Films is a wedding filmmaking company to help you never forget your wedding day through the art of film. And let me tell you, he is an artist through and through. His company is passionate about filming. They genuinely love doing what they do. They have seven years in experience making films. Trevor Geyser Films creates films that are handcrafted, story-driven, and cinematic. They offer their services worldwide and are not afraid to travel to capture your big day. So no matter where you are or where you're having your wedding day, they can meet you there. 
The services they offer start anywhere from the raw footage to ceremony films and highlight films. Click on the link today and use my promotion code Adeline22 and receive $200 off your grand total when you book. Also, don't forget to mention that his sister sent you his way. All right, so this is pretty much the situation I came up with for my Cricut stuff. I have the small Cricut, the Cricut Joy, and it will fit perfectly in this basket. I'm gonna put a basket label on this, and then I'm going to go ahead and organize all of my Cricut materials and stuff into these. I actually found these at Walmart. They're from the Mainstays brand. Let me know in the comments below what you're currently organizing or what you're working on in your house. I love hearing about your projects. The next area I'm organizing is this top shelf and I'm always looking for ways to maximize my space. I've talked about these boxes before. They're from Ikea and they are super budget friendly. They come in a bunch of different sizes and of course you have to be mindful what you put in them since they are made from cardboard. But if you are on a tight budget and you still want to be able to organize, these are excellent. I love giving you guys ideas for ways to stay in budget and still be organized. I know that there is a lot of pricey organizers out there, but sometimes just having simple white cardboard boxes works really well and these you would be able to write on with a large permanent marker if you don't have a label machine. So now we're moving from this side all of this over here to this side and this is going to be like beauty stuff and a bunch of other random things really. So the first thing I'm going to do is I needed a spot to store like my bags. I don't have many bags, I'm pretty minimalist when it comes to that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my backpacks and bags up here on the top of the shelf. As you can see, I have a bunch of things I grabbed at Target, excluding these drawers. I've had them for a long time, but I think you can get them on Amazon. But I have been loving this new line at Target. It's called Bright Room, and they have a lot of organizing stuff. And so what I'm going to do is use this to organize some accessories, extra shoe storage. This is for like hats and some extra hair stuff. And then I'm going to have one of the shelves as like a landing space, where where I can put like my hot tools and things like that. And I wanna put this little turntable. They also have really big ones. I got a huge one for under my sink. I'm going to be revamping that area soon, so I'll have a video out with that soon. And they're just a really, really inexpensive price. I love their price point with this stuff. Very, very inexpensive. These are like a dollar or two per pack. Really, really nice. So I'm gonna try to use these guys to organize stuff inside here. You can already see I was like messing around putting them in there. So let's go ahead and start putting some things together.
If you guys watch my channel often, you know that I really love these containers from Ikea as well. They're also not extremely expensive, but they do the job and they are very sturdy when you stack them because of the way that they are designed and they have a perfect space right on the end of them to put your labels. If you're pretty minimal with your jewelry like myself, this little jewelry box is really excellent. It's very sturdy and can be slid into narrow spaces. This next little project I put together, I wanted to show you all how sometimes the simplest things can make things just look nice and neat. And I just took some cardstock paper and cut out these squares and then I attached my labels to them and I used something that if you're a 90s kid, you're going to know exactly what it is. <laughs> and that is some sticky tack and I use that just to attach the pieces of paper to my drawers. They were a little more difficult to try to actually put the vinyl onto so just making kind of a paper label first worked out really well. Before I put all of my makeup away I did go through and throw out a lot of stuff and just decluttered it all. I love having little miscellaneous areas throughout my organizing and in this one I just put my workout bands for now. All right, I am so thrilled that this side of this room is finally cleaned up. We just had stuff all over the place the last little while and I'm just happy to see it all put in order. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you will see there is new hardware, new doorknobs. I'm so happy with them. So I closed the door because there's noise going on out there, but I'm just happy with this command center. I did put the calendar on hooks. They're not the most aesthetic and nice looking, but they work great to be able to take this off and actually sit at the table and fill it out for the month and just write my meal plan in, write in anything else that I wanna to add to it. I just would rather sit down and be able to fill it out than try to fill it out up on the wall. And we have our slots for the chore charts and just extra mail. And I think I'm going to actually get photos and tack them up down here. It's also a great height for the girls to add their little pieces of art that they bring down. And also one other thing to add, I think I might have some before clips of how this all looked. I recently painted the doors and the trim in the house and I feel like it's just changed the mood of the house completely without all of that dark wood. I definitely maximized space in here. I kept everything the same as I did the last time. This just has what it says it has in it. Then up here, these are things I don't reach for very often. I do get my label maker out whenever I meal prep, so I left that one in the middle. It's the easiest to access. And then over here is some like larger pieces of Cricut stuff that didn't really have a home, but they work great right there. And then obviously here is all of my Cricut stuff. And I don't know if I'll end up with more stuff than this. We'll see if I end up needing to add some more space. I can also pop it into the miscellaneous up here if I end up with more vinyl. But I thought this basket was just perfect for my little Cricut Joy. Then here are the workbooks. Um, 
that Everly is doing right now. And then also some of the ones in the bottom here are actually her curriculum for next year, but I just have it all piled right there. Some nice learning tools and flashcards, just easy access. And then obviously all of the books. Okay, I flipped sides here. I've got my bags up there and those actually have other bags stuffed inside of them. And then up here I have my place for my hot tools and hats. I love wearing hats. I love this dish to just set like my curling iron on if it's really hot. And then I'm super happy with how this turned out. I feel like it was so simple, so cheap, really was a cheap setup. And I will let you guys know as I use it if I like the setup or not. Um, and I really have minimized the makeup that I have. Just putting it down to the things that I definitely use. And I still have a little bit of extra space in here if I need to add anything else, which is perfect. And then down here I've got all of the things that are just kind of odds and ends. That's what I love about having shelving in closets is you can really just organize things and know where it's at when you're looking for it instead of wondering where that jewelry cleaner is or you know just random stuff and then I actually have some more shoes over in my clothing closet I need to add to this because I'm getting ready to organize that closet and that's a video coming really soon but shoes is one thing that I want to kind of eliminate from that closet it's not very big for a clothing closet so this was a nice little extra area to have that thank you guys so much for watching today if you're new here don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my brother's website if you have someone in your family that is getting married or you're getting married yourself. Don't forget to leave a comment below. That always helps me out and I'll see you all in my next video.